Yo guys, what's going on? It's Aces here today with another video and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get some free ammunition and escape from Tarkov I want you to take a look at the top right corner. You can see I have 12 million rubles That's our starting ruble count I'm gonna show you at the end of this once we get a bunch of ammo and stuff that we're gonna have roughly the same amount of rubles And we're gonna be profiting with the magazines and ammo that we're gonna be getting for free by doing this method So the ammo we're gonna be focusing on is m80 m61 m61 2 whatever is chambered into the magazine that also includes the tpz fmj and the ultra noisier rounds which are still worth some money they're just not as good m80 and up is pretty much the only rounds that i've run in you know an rsas or any of those higher caliber um you know semi-automatic rifles so we're going to be heading to the flea market and the one that i've been doing the most really is going to be the sr25 we'll get into that but i want you guys to take full advantage of peacekeepers uh price on m80 rounds specifically if you guys get the full quantity here for 200 you actually do get a slight discount it's 344 usd for 200 rounds of m80 i've been stockpiling it i always have a bunch of it you know hidden around in the stash just for when i need it and that's way better than paying 790 rubles around for it um, considering how cheap it is once you're, you know, looking at the 330, I just want to show you guys really quick that it is definitely worth getting the, um, you know, $40,000 worth or 40,000 rubles worth of M80 rounds, 200 rounds. That is a really good deal. And if you would convert that to rubles for, um, you know, the inflated price of 200 rounds times almost 800 rubles per round we're talking 160,000 rubles worth of ammo so it is definitely worth doing that with peacekeeper make sure you're always picking up that m80 ammo if you're a frequent rsas user or r or sr25 so what we're going to be doing is taking full advantage of the sr25 and how low its price is and the reason we can do this is as you guys can see it is floating right around that 60k mark and all we're going to do is take advantage of the sr25s with the 20 round magazine and ones that are loaded so there's one down here for 66k which is a bit expensive and there's only seven rounds in the magazine but these are ones you want to look for right here is a good example and we're going to take this one if it's not purchased yet so we got that for 63,000 rubles and i want you to definitely keep an eye on our ruble count we're just going to start with this sr25 we're just going to completely disassemble that weapon and we're going to take that m80 round out of the chamber and throw it in our magazine now we're going to unload that we have 19 rounds of m80 which is roughly 15,000 rubles worth of ammo right away. And these magazines are quite expensive. As you can see here, these mags cost about 40K alone. Now you cannot reflip the magazines on the market, but you can use them for your own personal use. And this is another big key factor here. You know, you're getting a $40,000 or 40,000 ruble magazine and 15,000 rubles worth of ammo just by doing this method and you have the rest of the stuff left over. So what we're gonna do, we're going to head to skier and we're going to sell what parts we can from that sr25 and the more attachments it has on it the better we'll head to mechanic and we will sell the rest of the stuff from that weapon and as you guys can see we just got a free magazine 19 rounds of m80 and we profited 3,207 rubles off of the transaction. So this is a really, really good way to stock up on these magazines and stock up on M80 ammo. Um, it works very well. As you guys can see, I have been doing it and getting uh, all the magazines stocked up. I absolutely love running the RSAS, especially late game. Um, these mags are still worth that 30k as well. So this is a really, really, really efficient method on just getting yourself some ammo for free, getting yourself some free magazines. And if you would want to keep any parts from the SR25s, you can go ahead and do that. Now, you, this method will work with the RSAS, but you would have to resell it on the flea market and you would have to, you know, pay that fee. With this method, doing the SR25, we're not losing anything, you know, fee-wise. We're just selling it right to the dealer. Now, there's no ammo in this one, but you're still keeping the magazine. I'm going to show you guys we are going to keep that magazine. And we're just going to go ahead and sell those parts to Skier once again. Now, some people will be ripping parts off of your SR25. So, you might not profit every time, but literally getting the magazines and getting the ammo from the magazines makes it well worth to do this for a minute or two especially if you like running these higher caliber weapons man i do it you know we made 6k right there 
And if you really wanted to, you could sell the magazine if you don't need them. But obviously, you're probably going to need them if you want to run the SR25 or if you want to run the uh, RSAS. But I want to do this at least one more time for you guys just so you kind of understand what we're doing here. But um, I don't really see that many with magazines. Here's still that 66,000 one that's not going to sell. Like I said, it only has seven rounds in it, so it's not really, really worth our time there. But as I said, you can also do this with the M1A1. Um, right here is one. There's no ammunition in there. I think they got that from a Twitch drop. But um, you could do this for this one right here. You can see there's seven rounds of M80 in there as well. And these magazines also are very, very costly. So if you're an M1A user, you can do this for this weapon as well. And it still works for flipping. As I'm not sure if you're going to profit once selling all that stuff to Skier and everything. But you're still getting a very expensive magazine. And you're still getting you know, between 1 and 20 rounds of M80 or a better round if you find someone who's selling a customized one for a lower price. But like I said, I did want to try and snipe one more of these SR25s before I send you guys away into your Tarkov madness. But um, I might not be able to. I'm not sure we're going to find another one with a magazine. The SR25 section is super dead right now. I've been doing this for about two days. And there's pretty much no traffic here on the SR25 page. I mean, I had some listed that I had broken down from just taking magazines and stuff out. And they would not sell even at the lowest price. So... You know, once this video goes up, there's going to be quite a few of you doing it for a little bit, but this is a really easy way for you guys to start sniping some ammunition and magazines for the weapons. Right here, you have one that has um, 20 bullets in it and an RSAS. We could try this one. I haven't done it with the RSAS yet, uh, but it's probably best to try and find one that has like M61 or something floating through it, which this one definitely could. It's definitely a possibility. I mean, we could just do it for the video. It won't hurt anything. And then... uh. I'll just bite the bullet for you guys and see how much the fee is. So we paid 170 for this RSAS. So let's see what kind of ammunition is floating through this thing. I would assume M80. It is M80. So, you know, there's another free 20 rounds in the magazine, which is worth, you know, that like 20, 30K range. And then you just come back to the RSAS and you would relist it up. We would probably send it as a stock on it. We could probably list it for like 168, you know, 168.5. And that would be losing 2K and we would have to see... Uh, what our fee would be looking like so about 5k fee so you're, you're losing about 7k doing this method and um you know you're still profiting when it comes to the price of the actual ammo not including peacekeepers price but we could probably list this one just a touch higher and um you know shoot for i mean this is a pretty good price we have it at so you could do it with the rss it's just not as efficient man uh, this one should sell. I mean, this one's going to sell first. Obviously, this one also has another 20 rounds in it. So, I mean, we could do it with this one. And this one would actually be a lot more profitable. And um, if I wanted to on that last RSAS, I could have ripped off the, the blackout on there. Uh, we could rip this off and have an extra attachment to sell or something. You could even rip off the stock, but it's kind of, you know, something you want to keep on there just to make it look appealing. But once again, same exact concept. You take the M80 rounds out. You have another PMAG to go. And then you can just list this puppy back up. So whether you wanted to get a free magazine or something, it's exactly the same method. It works exactly the same. It's very, very simple and effective. In my personal opinion, it's the easiest way to get M80. And, um, you know, the 20-round magazines for basically nothing and dirt cheap. So, guys, let me know what you think about this method. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, man. Subscribe if you're new. Check the sponsors and equipment description below. That's all I got for you. Like I said, leave that like. Helps the channel and the video out. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out.